It does feel like definitely something's on it. Ooh! Extremely upset. So it took nearly a year and a half, I believe, if you could correct me on the proper timeline, to get it rebuilt. This is our new bridge. No matter what the water level gets to, we should be able to easily access the <laughs> Sullivan Through Island recreational yeah, area. Um, so they were over last no. night, and I warned them. It's just pretty, you know? The show before we get into whatever we're about to do because we don't even know if we're going to catch anything. Magnet fishing at least. <laughs> and I made him play life. I made him play the board game life and he hates the life. Oh, oh Ricky, I was sad for you. And I didn't know why, but it was because I, you had to play life, I guess. Yeah, because you got to retire and everything. I was. Oh, I was like, I'm sad for Ricky. I was talking to Dad. Yeah, he I was, was like, sleeping. He couldn't birthday, even retire. He was sleeping. I was like, Ricky, Ricky, you got to pick which place you want to retire at. And he's like, what? He's like, well, I'm retired. And I want to have like a Anyone. Yeah. And I even cheated one time. <laughs> <laughs> I gave myself a little maybe one extra pay today. Shut up. <laughs> See, okay, but he can remember that I cheated in the game and gave myself an extra three paydays. <laughs> I did forget to pay myself three times, so I don't think I really cheated, but I think that if I did, it's okay, because I still lost. <laughs> and if I cheated, and if I would have won a lot, it was your birthday. I would have just put my money back, and I would have been like, oh, I didn't actually win. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's, looks like it's pretty. Married to you should look like I want friends. <laughs> <laughs> Who gave me a mint? Why is your did dad give me a mint? Yeah, dad got a sonic slushy yesterday. I don't recommend it. High in fructose corn or home. Oh my gosh. High fructose corn syrup. Don't drink it. Don't do it. It's bad. I think she was here. Yeah. But anyways, Liddy. We're gonna go straight through this, this one. I didn't get the slushy. I just got the mints. I was like, can I get some mints? And she gave me a handful. Yeah, we're ready to hike. <laughs> yeah, is Corey walking up here or what? And then over here is the little map of it. If you want to walk over there and see it before you start. You can go to these freeways. on the bridge before we get possibly ate up by a billion bugs because that's what happened last time I came here but I guess it's not too bad right now <laughs> yep so Ricky and I came here like two months ago or maybe like a month ago to walk Axel and we just got super ate up this whole time we were walking down this trail so let's see if we're gonna reenact that or, <laughs> Nat, um, or what? Spray? Um, Dad has the spray in the bucket. In the bucket, wow. Um, Natalie, in the bucket. I, I asked Corey if he'd been here, and he said, yeah. So he, he probably knows, knows where, we're, where going. we're going, yeah. He just goes straight ahead, and like, well, he'll run into us if he goes straight. Yeah. Just tell him that. Just tell him. Whenever he's on the phone, if you want to. Just tell him, come through the bridge and just keep going straight. Tell him you can go right, you can go left, and you can go straight. No. Straight. <laughs> no, he's going to be like, I could go right or left or get there. <laughs> There's, there's three paths. And they all go around in a circle, I guess. Oh, they do? I have no clue. Wow. I'm a liar. I've never <laughs> walked I've never walked the left or right ones, I, I really guess. I've, I've walked the left one a little, a little bit, bit, but not, like, past into oh, the wow. woods. Is that a water pump over there? Like a well? Is that a well? Where? We'll have to look at that when we leave. Right there, that block, that... I think, oh, yeah. maybe. I don't it's know. got graffiti on it. Hello. Well, I don't seem to be getting super rid up. Today. Yeah. 
getting bit yet? No, I was just trying to, you know, do the radar, the meter, to see if I was getting bit up like we were last time. And no, it was like swarming. You could see the clouds of different bugs. Pro tip, if you have not put your spray on yet, just keep moving. Don't stop. Oh, are you getting bit up? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to keep moving. That's why. Uh huh. Yeah, we gotta do some some scary movie stuff here. Maybe that looks like some old Lock and Dam guys. Like, like you guys water, can keep walking. Like I just want to get a video of it. Here or something, and I'm not for sure we can read about it, but I think it's just this area. Olympic right. speed walking. Let's get this spray. Get oh. ourselves in it. Ooh, listen. Yes, sir. I didn't know the Yankee Shh, was still going. You're supposed to be quiet. We got a mosquito on your forehead. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm definitely <laughs> getting it up. The radar went up to at least five. Now we gotta go into the trees. Oh my gosh. Just what one little spot. Us? The dam. This is oh, this building? Be catching big fish. We gotta get out there. Oh my gosh. He's not even in, over there yet. Time out. One time we came down here and this man and this woman I'm getting were all big. decked out in their camo gear and they were fishing, you know, so they had the best of everything. I like the best poles. The best, you know, clothes, just basically the best gear. Basically the best gear. And dad went down there, he walked down there, and they were like, I ain't really biting. He pulled a big one out immediately. I was like, oh. It's just the luck when you go fishing. Oh, you guys get bit up? Oh, look what we're doing over here. Uh, sure. We didn't think it was that bad on the first little half of the trail, right? But the second half. I'm keeping it in my back of my arms and stuff. Not like my neck, but just the back of my arms. Working on it. Yeah, because I got bit up. Yeah, a bit up a whole rash already. And that's why it's been a while. No, I'm afraid. That's why it's been a while since we. That's vile. Hoof. <laughs> he sprayed me in my mouth. Dude, I stopped, grabbed the can, and I started spraying my leg. I was spraying three mosquitoes. Um, and I my leg. Dang. Really? You're coming down here? You guys? Ooh, wow. The dam is really pushing out some water here. It's really flooded. You know, I might as well get down there before everybody's down there. I can't touch any of this stuff. Literally in shorts. But yeah. Oh my gosh. My hair. It was stuck in a tree. <laughs> yep. They're about to actually like fish over here. Maybe I'm gonna magnet fish, but oh my gosh, I forgot to spray my legs. Going back up. Can't do this. Retreat. Retreat. Uh, I need it on my legs. Help. 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 Oh my gosh. It's gone. You gotta rub it in. It's gone. You're gonna have to rub it in. It's gone. Yeah, dude. We ain't gonna be fishing here. It's trash, bro. You might want to go down to the little beach thing there and see if there's, you know, anything over by the beach right here. Let's not do that. Yeah, he could try it. You could do whatever your little heart desires. Because we're already ate up.
guys, we, we are already all main courses. <laughs> this is supposed to be magnet fishing, you guys. <laughs> well, we really came for regular fishing this time, guys. We were just going to well, magnet fish why we're regular fishing. Yeah, we're magnet fishing, too. The but same thing. That right there, this is Otherwise, not good for magnet fishing. I would not come out here just to get ate up if we were not about to be magnet fishing. But this spot right there is not good for magnet fishing yeah, right now it's because get it's caught just on everything. the shoreline. There's not going to be that oh. Yeah, it is pretty high. Oh wow, yeah, there's no beach right now. That beach is usually like out to here, like past those trees and stuff. Uh uh. So um, this should definitely snag heaven. Don't do it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm not following him. Let's go back this way. We'll Look meet at you the guys bench. around the circle, Ben. Because Ricky bench. goes, let me go with you guys. <laughs> the bench. Ricky, Ricky don't, don't do follow it. him. You got shorts on. Don't follow him, Ricky. Ricky and Corey. You're gonna turn around. Him. Ethan, go for backup. Because you have pants. Come on. <laughs> Ricky's like, I'm gonna go. What are y'all doing? They cry, cry. <laughs> you guys, this is like a scary movie. They're coming right back to us, guys. They're taking the hard. You're taking the hard path. We understand. So. Like, guys. <laughs> They're like following us around and stuff. Abby, I'm not playing. We're making a fire. We ain't gonna have these mosquitoes no more. <laughs> Ow! They bit my butt just now, dude. How are they getting through jeans? My arms are red. Bit. Ooh, just keep moving. Don't watch the boys. Just keep Daddy's moving. What's going on today is everything in our area is flooded from the flood of the Mississippi. And everything else. Waters are rising. The flood of the Mississippi. Stop. Mississippi flood. Oh, stop. I'm trying to fight for my life. <laughs> Do we have to go back through here? Oh, yeah. You better. Oh, my God. You're cooked. Why'd you come out here? It's every time. I want to go home. It's every time we get eaten. What the heck are they doing over there? It's a dead end. All I see right there is we're Ooh. food. We are prey. We are prey. Look at those little guys. Guys, we're supposed to be magnet fishing. All we're doing is getting ate up and finding two flooded areas. Why would we come? I don't know. What do y'all got to walk fast? Sorry, y'all. I got put me first. I got put me first. Trying to run, they're gonna take us out. Now, doing speed walk. Speed walk. I'm not playing no more. I'm not. I'm not even trying to. Oh! I'm not even trying to play. That looks cool. If it wasn't completely flooded, yeah. Oh, they're trying to get my everything. They're trying to get my ear, my my ankles. Well, at least they haven't been up your legs yet, really. They just got my ankles, and I swear they bit my butt cheek like two minutes ago. I remember when I was here just about ten minutes ago, and I had about like ten less bug bites. Whatever. Getting outside, doing something. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I know that for regular fishing, this would probably be the best option, and we just got ate up for no reason. And you know we'll have to bring them back here when everything goes down, when the water goes down. <laughs> so you you want to try magnet fishing here? Well, we're yeah, we're not, we're gonna definitely try. Let's get it out and go. When are you gonna try when we get the new one? Um, maybe. You're gonna, so you know, it seems a little bit more my let caliper. Let us know yeah. if you want, if you think that Abby should try the magnet fishing too. Comment down below and we'll get her out there and do it. Hmm. What you hooling? <laughs> we'll see. This dad put it in the bag and it's just been in there, so it's kind of knotted up. You know us and all these knots. First of all, let me just. Oh, I think my camera zoomed in. Yeah, that's why. I'm gonna order a new magnet tonight. Tonight? 
You didn't do it during Prime days? No, I should have, right? But I'm not buying it for Prime, actually. Okay, I'm yeah. I'm buying it from, like, these guys that... You ain't buying it from Prime. Ooh, you professionals. And I'm going to buy it from them. I'm going to buy a, a good one. So I'll pay a little bit extra to make sure it's better. Yeah. And what is the weight going to be? Uh, there's all different weight limits. I think the smallest is like 1,200. Oh, the smallest were there? I think so. Because it's professional. Yeah, I want a double-sided one. So. See, we just had to get started. We had to see if you liked it first. We can't, you know, invest a whole bunch and not know if you like it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If it'll hit the bottom. It might. On the bottom. Okay. That's good. And there's no current like there was at the boat, so. Probably better just to dangle on the, under the bridge straight under it, you know. Yeah, she says it's on the bottom. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Because, you know, when it's a float. And I feel it, you know, like this. Let me pull it up here. What? Just see right here. Let's see how far I can get it to go down. We'll see if it is touching because right here I pulled it all the way to me. And there is small current. And I believe it just set down like right there. So. It's pretty fresh, nothing's in it except for a little couple of little magnetic rocks. Nothing really. Hmm. I'm gonna try to get it as close to the bridge as I can because I would think maybe someone might drop something off in the bridge. Oh, and I just touched a spider web. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. Hmm. I still feel like I'm getting bit up, but I'm not. The bugs aren't bad over here. It's just your bites are in there. Walls. Yeah, on that side. No, you're fine. It said, "Whoop whoop!" Shut down the party, please. <laughs> Thank you, too, please. Whenever we were walking the trail, I can't talk bad about reading the contract. Oh my god. We were walking on on the trail, and we were all getting up. I was like, "Someone has medical on it." Meditated. Well, yeah, right here though. Probably not along the wall because yeah, you gotta go right here. Cause they can step out like on the rocks. Ooh. Oh. Got a little tie it's okay, it'll come out. Just pull it up there and then uh, loosen it up. That way whenever it comes in you have more links. There you go. You done did easy. Is there any trash around here? Somebody left um, yeah. this plastic lid right here. Yeah, it's there is one around here. I don't know if there's one at the end, but I think there is. Well, you are on the bottom because she was on the bottom over there. It's probably just a dragon, but who knows? You might have something little on there. Water.
Yeah, Corey, you'll be the one to find something, but let me get out of the way so I don't get fish poop water in my face, like I usually do. I think there's a garbage over there, man, at the end of the walkway. My mom just threw something away. Yeehaw. Go, Corey, go. Go, Corey, go, Corey, go. Oh my gosh. This is genius. I should have brought my skatey board, bro. Yeah, it's smooth actually out here. It's genius. I should just grab it and have it in the car. Genius. So I would say you don't want to swing it like on that beam. Hey, there might Check be something out. on no, there. He did. I just. It could have been a nail on there, bro. <laughs> you got something? You? I'm just kidding. <laughs> you got something? Or are you just say to hold it? No, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's still, I'm still giving it string, and it's still going. So let's see. Or you want to know? Does it feel like something's on it? It doesn't feel like definitely something's on it. Ooh. Do you want to hold it up? Since yeah, it looks like there's some tension on there. Do you want to pull it up, Corey? Now what you need to do is be it's real just lightly. slow. Yeah. Real, real slow. Take your time. It's all about the patience. What the hell? Corey's a freaking green bean stock. I gotta go from Sorry, up I'm here. <laughs> and, and now it'll be heavy. I lost it. <gasps> Drop it straight back. Oh, he goes. I have. <laughs> <laughs> It's frustrating. <laughs> but you had something though. There's that. Man, Cora, I really hope you find her wedding ring. It's like we came here. And <laughs> it's a, a scenario. So we gotta tell people we're looking for her wedding ring. We dropped it. Corey, are you back on it? I'm back on something. Like, yeah, you are. You definitely have something here. Okay, maybe you're on something right there that's in the mud a little bit. So you gotta kind of just go side back. to side a little bit yeah, without pulling it. <coughs> kind of just kind of wiggling it out of the mud. Ooh, what you finding? Yep, yep, slow and steady. This thing holds up to 300 pounds. So, oh, it looks like it's getting kind of tight. Like it's dragging through something again. Is it? Try to go side to side again, maybe. Yeah, that's tight. Wait, Abby can move out, move out of your way a little bit, and you step this way, Corey, with the rope. Keep kissing the rope, and walk this way with it a little bit, and then you'll probably like go to the other side. You know, just trying to get to see if it, if anything needs to be wiggled, wiggled a little bit. Yeah, I found a treble hook. What? A treble oh, hook. Man, I'm gonna step on that. Yeah, I know. Oh, I did step on it. Oh no. We. Yeah, I'm gonna give that to Dad. Oh, right over there. Then we'll go ahead and straighten it out and use it. Did you give up or do you have something? I think I'm giving up. You think you're getting it up? Wow! Let's see if we got something on the magnet. Yeah, just keep going slow too because it might go off whenever it breaks from the water surface. Mm. Well, there might be something little on there. Look and see if there's like nails or. Clean to the board. You gotta get okay. it to that spot. Yep. We have something there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It'll just stick and you'll just have to unstick it. I guess what people will really say is don't stick it on the boat. Uh, fish over here? Probably. Yo. Hey, we got a fish right here active. Oh my gosh. Active. <laughs> active fish. <laughs> He's just going to grab him. He just up on me. Also. I'm over here trying to do my hours for work. And I was like, <laughs> War zone. He's active. Oh, he sees it. He sees it. Yeah. He's like, it's flopping. What is it? I don't know. It's some type of fishity fish. I mean, okay, so if it's a catfish, it'd be spawning. Yeah. What if I do it from this side? 
So then, like, you went the under? No. Nope. Oh, if the current's if not going that bad. It's going to go under. Because if the current was going bad, you you would feel it. It would take a while to get you to the bottom. Feel it. We can feel it. And it takes a little bit. When we let it go, it just goes with the current. So there is current that's going. I just didn't realize it that much. But it must be something heavy that's right You could try a different foot. spot. Man eating catfish. Oh, I actually had something. It looks like you still do. You still do. So I be do. careful. I do. Yeah, be careful. Just barely like put any weight on it, trying to pull it up. I'm gonna lose it. It looks like it's pretty heavy. There, you got back onto it again. It looks like it's pretty heavy. Cause look, it's it's separating. I know. I'm I'm seeing. It's, I haven't felt it, but oh yeah, you definitely have something here. Well. With just moving my hand, it's moving the, the dirt around it. Because I'm barely, like, just moving my wrist. Hmm. Oh. I feel it starting to... Alright, guys. I gotta take a couple shots down by y'all here. Since we've had that hmm. continued action. Yeah, I'm just kind of, like, pushing it and, like, trying to, you know, wiggle it out of the water. Or out of the mud. If it is in the mud. It's either that or it weighs a lot. Corey, take this. Unless you want to pull it up, you got it. It's, I think you got something on there that weighs a lot. So just be careful and you're going to start freaking pulling it up. Okay? Just, yeah. Start pulling it up. Because I think you got something on there that weighs a lot. Don't leave the tension off it or it might get pushed in the mud. Ain't hey, gee. Mom, I think he has something big here because I started pulling yeah, it up, but I had to I'm, take. I'm yeah, no, start this. pulling it up. Oh well, it's heavy. She has. So I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. Ooh, Abby's gonna try. So well, next she, time, it's heavy and it's also big. Next time we come, Adam will bring oh, his um, his snorkeling gear, and then he can go down there and see what it is. We only oh. have about this much. But no, it was moving. If you get, can get connected to it again. It could be rebar, it could be a bicycle. Uh, well, I was moving it. I was like pulling it up. We got some. I'm trying to just. Uh, oh well, it's pretty deep down there. I just want it to float again. Water. Oh no, I can't drink that water. I just take the current go that way a little bit. I have to swing it on the bridge a little bit, and then it pulls it down. Yeah, this is. Here, Tori, you try to get hooked onto it again. Yeah, there's something there, and it was moving. It had some weight to it. But it was moving. It wasn't like it was stuck, and it just popped right off. Because when I started pulling it up, it, like, came with me, but then it, it fell see. off. There was, like, a lot of tension on it, so it is something big. Are you back on it again? Because it looks like the water is breaking. Yeah. No. I'm kind of just hopping around. Oh, okay. Um... Can I, before you let go of it, can I help you a little bit? Can I see if I can? I won't pull it up if I if I get it going. Yeah, yeah. Just, we're going to give it a little slap and go this way. Okay. So, feeling right here, I feel a ledge. We're riding a rock right there. Because some, a lot of those rocks have that magnetic stuff in it, you know, we pull the, the little pieces of it. I don't know, I was pulling up something at least like 20 so, pounds. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it was moving with me and then it, I felt it pop off. It wasn't like so it nothing, just immediately pulled was off. on that right there. That was just a bit. I mean, it feels like there's something on it right now. But I know, I mean, actually something is dangling. It kind of feels like, like you're pulling in a little tiny fish. A fish. Yeah, it feels like I'm pulling in a little... Um, war mouth bass. It's like Angela. it's between a, a crappie. I'm serious. Can you grab the foam out uh, here, Corey? Can you take this? I don't want to drop it. I mean, maybe it's just the weight of the magnet. I think you just have Corey try to put it back out where it was. I it remind you, I did move it a little bit, just yeah, a little bit, but the the there was something at least like 20 pounds that I was. I got to, it started pulling up. Well, so when it flows out. It hits the bottom. Well, you're saying it's close to the bridge, yeah. 
and then just let it go out that way. See how it's flowing? You know, there you go. I didn't feel it. Remember, you're trying to wiggle it out of the rug or the rock a little bit. So a little bit back over here, a little bit over there, and then giving me the little tug. Oh, here it is. There it's it. Yep, you're on it again. So then you want to, remember how you see me pulling it last time? Like real little, like this, a little tiny bit. Yeah, like just like barely try to like move your wrist until you feel it actually off the bottom and you got to start pulling it up. Because you'll feel once it's actually out of the mud and you can start just pulling it up. You got lots of tension on there, so try to pull it a little bit. Like, try to lift it a, a bit. Yeah, just keep lifting it. Just slowly. Because I think it's just something heavy on there. As long as the current doesn't break it. Fuck. Yeah. But did you feel it moving up? Because you were taking some yeah, rope back, yeah, you you I definitely you definitely moved a, at least like a foot of rope or something. So maybe the water or the whatever land is getting higher up here, unless it just keeps falling back down. I don't know. Because you caught on to it again, so the water or the dirt must be a bit higher over here. Hmm. Is it stuck? Or is it just weighs a lot? I feel like it's in between both. We'll try to give it a good like lift up, like. You can. They're very friendly. Yeah? Is it really stuck like that? In fact, they get mad when people go by and don't pet them. And that's when they get <laughs> Dang. I got it again. It's there. Yeah? And you. Even my god dog, because I have a dog that eats. I'm grandma. I'm grandma. Hmm. That's enough. Yeah, you don't get any attention. You're beautiful. Two he keeps hooking on to it. Oh. It's it's on there. I just, every time I try to pull it up, I lose it. Like he said, it's definitely on there. Yeah, and he's been pulling it up, so the... The surface below here must be getting, you know, a little bit higher over here because he pulled it up at least a foot. Oh, shit. But it's pretty yeah, heavy, so I don't know if you would want to pull it up once you actually got it out of, like, you know, the yeah. mud. So it's probably not real deep here. You got it connected again? Yes, you can see it, so it's right there. I don't know if it'd be something we'd actually be able to pull up, guys. I think that it just weighs, like, at least, like, 30 pounds, 20 pounds. Pull up grandma's more. purse, and if y'all know how heavy grandma's purse is, you want me to switch you, or because I don't know if you should pull it up because it seems like it's pretty heavy. Dang. So it, it broke loose again. Yeah. I kept the magnet right there, and it got right back on. So all we gotta do is just keep it right there. Pull straight it could up. Be some kind of a I beam to the bottom of the bridge. Pull here. it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. up the bridge. No, don't tr don't pull on it. It'll come loose. I just I'm not. I'm just trying to create some tension on it. Yeah, just trying to get it break it loose if it can. It is. It, I feel it moving up. Hold on, let me see. Oh. Oh 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 oh. oh. Okay. Yeah, let's try to get it in a better spot. On it. All right. She says she has it on there again. Until we pull it up. I'll give you a little break here because, yeah, we're going to try to get this up. Once we start pulling up, I'll, I'll record again. Or if we move. It was on the ninth. All right. Um, beam. Ninth beam. Ninth beam. It was on a beam? No. We got to oh. go to the ninth beam when we come back with a better magnet. Oh, okay. Going. Yeah, when we come back with a heavier magnet, we got to go back to that same spot. That's what she's talking about. It's nine beams in. Okay. Yeah, the current could definitely change it by then. But, um... We tried. We definitely tried. We definitely got eight up. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was a bit of a flop this time, but yeah, we're going to come back with a better one once we get a nicer one. And then also maybe whenever it's a little less flooded, but that seemed to work fine. That's his tool belt. Yeah, it's nice that I have that for bikes or what to not on the bike puff. Yeah, some guy was riding his skateboard out here. I was like, oh, I should have brought my skateboard.
Well, now you know. You bring it next time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But next time, if the water's down, that's when we're going to come when the water's down. We won't come until then. Back here in that back part that we went, Dad's going to catch some big fish. Mark my words. Kichow. All right. See you in the next episode of Midwest Family Adventures Magnet Fishing. Bye, y'all.